promise I'm not gonna stop, I promise I'm be on top, I promise I'm off the block, I promise to cop the job, I promise to always pop, I promise to never flop, we the cream of the crop, we gon' fill up the lot. What's poppin' faces and welcome to Fabian TV. Let's get tensured. And if you're new to the channel, like, comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to 1K, you feel me? We are only 484 away from 1K. You feel me? Um, today's video will be acting to flags of African Americans. You feel me? Um Yeah, I don't I didn't know we got flags, so I'm going to react to the flags. Hopefully learn something new. You feel me? And um let's get into the video, dick. you could do SEO smarter and faster. With Wix, you can edit your meta tags. Hey. Hello, welcome back to Watch Do Need a Historian. Today I will be covering flags of African Americans. This probably will be one of my last videos for African American History Month. Maybe not my last, but because it's the end of the month, probably. So, in this video I just put together a slideshow to take you through some flags of the African American community. So first we have one of the most iconic, the red, black, and green flag. This is also known as a Harvey Colors or Harvey flag, and it was desi designed by Marcus Garvey, a black nationalist born in Jamaica. He believed that African nations should separate from their colonial overlords. By the way, this was during European colonialism, and African Americans should immigrate back to Africa. Even though the flag was meant specifically for the descendants of African slaves in the Americas, the colors became international when several African countries adopted these colors after gaining independence. One that comes to mind is Kenya, but there are several others that have done this as well. The flag is still used and represents all people in the African diaspora. The colors represent red, the blood of those who fought for liberty, black, the color of the people, and green, the vegetation of the motherland. Some variants include the red, black, and green with an Africa outlined, the red, black, and green with a red star, the black, red, and green, which is not I don't know if that was really necessary. The green, black, and red, the 13 stripes, and the African American flag of inclusion. That one, which I don't think looks very nice, but <coughs> whatever. So now we have the African American flag house. And this flag actually has a lot of meaning. Each stripe represents a very different meaning, so it would probably be like, this video would be way longer than I want it to be if I discuss each one, but yeah, each stripe represents something else, each star represents something else, and even these three stripes also represent something else, and yeah, it's a really, it's a busy flag, but I think I kind of like it. So now we have, I know that's probably flag. my favorite on the list, the African American Heritage Flag. I don't it know nothing about it, I just Mullen know about Charles it. Charles and Gleason uh, Jackson in 1967 it was created because people believed it didn't really... People believed that the um, Pan-African flag, the black, red, and green that I showed in the very beginning of the slideshow, that didn't really represent African Americans and their unique history. So this flag was created and the colors represent black, the pigmentation of African Americans, red, the blood of those who fought for their freedom, no. light and peace. The symbol represents 
a thing, which is a native plant to Africa, a sword, a soul of leadership in the 8th century. If you didn't know, the Moors, uh, mostly Muslims in North Africa, and to be, and, or they were, for a while it was considered that all Muslims living in Africa were Moors. However, recently, more, like it just has taken on several different meanings. So, more is a bit of a weird word. So, now that, now we have our last flag, which is the black, green, red, stars and stripes. Uh, the black, red, the black, green, red, stars and stripes uh, is an American take on the Harvey colors which I could have shared in the beginning of this, but I think this one is an interesting story and it has variants of itself as well, so yeah. This flag was actually seen flown at one of, at Barack Obama's first inauguration, and there are a lot of variants of this flag. There's this one, there's that one, and there's this one, and <coughs> Each one actually has its own unique meaning. I don't remember which one exactly, but one of these represents the Middle Passage, where most African Americans were taken, or like the majority of African Americans are descended from slaves taken in the Middle Passage, which is why they have a flag for that. Uh, to be honest, that video was um, interesting. But, Hello, welcome back to uh, this. It was interesting, but I didn't really learn too much from it. Um, so I'm going to try to find other videos. And we can react to it. Other African um, American flags. You feel me? So... Give me a second, because the first video was eh. Let's see what this video is talking about, alright? Are you tired of the violence? Tired of the injustice? And police brutality, rampant discrimination, lack of gun control in this... And then this video is called, Did He Know About the African American Heritage Flag? failed by a socioeconomic experiment called America, or maybe you need a break from the relentless grind and want to regain control of your destiny, your wealth, your health, and your purpose. DiversifiedDame.com has the right course for you. Prepare for my first trip to Africa. Looking to reconnect with your roots, start a new business, or just a fresh start. Africa, aka the motherland, is waiting. Don't let the Chinese and the Mazungus have the fun and also take over the motherland. From Cairo to Mombasa, from Dakar to Cape Town, Africa has something for everyone, from business opportunities to the most amazing people, safety, leisure, and landscapes. So opportunities abound. It is time for the diaspora to reconnect with their roots. Time to reconnect with the birthplace of humanity. Africa is the last frontier. Get your head in the game and reclaim your legacy. The writing is on the wall. Babylon is falling. Uh, my camera overheated, but I'm gonna try to hurry up this video, you feel me? Give up the stress, grinding violence inflicted on our people on this continent, and prepare for a journey of restoration and joy by connecting with the land of your ancestors. Check out our new course and kick off your adventure at diversifiedgame.com. me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you can please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels that like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So Twitter, Black Twitter, has discovered something new. Well, new to most people, right? Um, a user by the name of Malcolm said the following, y'all, I just found out we got an African-American heritage flag, and oh my God, I love it. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I always thought our flag was the Pan-Africanism flag, red, black, and green by Marcus Garvey. 
But, you know, you learn something new every day. And so, in 1967, Melvin Charles, along with Gleason Jackson, came up with the idea of the African-American heritage flag because Melvin said as a child, when he would go to different parades and stuff, he would always see the regular American flag and always wondered where our flag was. And so he decided to get together with Mr. Jackson and create the flag. Now, the flag represents this. According to Melvin Charles, the bluntest sword represents pride and the gold wreath represents peace, prosperity, and everlasting life. Red is for the blood that has been shed by the community for freedom, justice, and human dignity, while black represents the pride in their skin color and the black community. And so I don't have a problem with it at all. I think it's a nice concept for us to have our own flag again. I thought we already had one, but you know, I guess another one won't hurt, right? Everyone else has, you know, several flags to represent different things about them. So I don't necessarily see a problem with it, but you guys tell me what you think. Do you like the flag or? All right. We back, hopefully we back for good like what you already have if you you know celebrate the uh, red black and green flag you guys let us know and so for more insightful commentary please subscribe to this channel and my channel the Demetri K show here on YouTube peace two hundred and fifty years of slavery one hundred years of Jim Crow sharecropping the Ku Klux Klan lynchings bombings mass incarceration the separation and destruction of the black family. All of that has had an effect on our mind. Our mind needs to be decolonized. We today are experiencing mental slavery, not physical slavery as once our ancestors had to endure. In my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, we take you through every step to start releasing the chains that's on your mind. He or she who controls the mind control the person. It is in a vested interest of the white supremacist system to keep your mind bogged down in a mental slavery, throwing entertainment, throwing drugs, throwing alcohol, anything they can at you to keep you bogged down. You got to free yourself from mental slavery. By purchasing our book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind today on Amazon. Make sure you share it with your family, share it with your friends. Everyone can benefit from decolonizing the mind because once your mind is decolonized, you will never be put to sleep again. So that one, it taught us a little bit of something about the Black Harris flag, but not a lot. It didn't go into death about it. So I'm going to try to find one more video and then end the video off there. All right. Um, hold on. Give me a, give me like two minutes. Hopefully this video that I found um, tells us more about the flag. What are you smelling at? So um, the United States Senate passed a hip hop celebration. <laughs> <laughs> Country and um, you know, yo, did y'all know that we had a fucking flag? 
random. But oh, I, don't see I saw that. That shit is fire, this too. Shit is fire. I'm, 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 I'm getting one. I'm about to put one on the shirt. What you talking bro, about? Bro, literally. I want to change with that The shirt. black American flag actually fire. exists. I never knew we had a flag. Me either. Y'all just don't use it. Who created it? Um, Melvin, Melvin Charles yes. and, Glinson, and Gleason T. Jackson. That's a tattoo worthy. That's not really cute. Yeah. Yeah. That shit is beautiful. In 1967, the Black American Heritage flag is real. That shit is beautiful. I love it, man. I know. As soon as we start wearing that motherfucker, off with your fucking heads. Yeah. Um, That's going to become the Confederate flag. Watch. Mmm. That's what you believe the black people's confederacy for. Hey, look, like we need to do something drastic around really? this motherfucker. That, that is going to be the death of us. I don't know, because you know this, but... Uh, hey, look, that, that sword in the middle of that flag yeah. is meant for violence. <laughs> but who's who the group <laughs> of people? There's a group of people that do have their own flag, and they claim to not be... Um, <laughs> Take it back. No, no, there's black people. Um, yeah, you said a group. I'm just saying that we all got on point with this being the black... Uh, the black American no, flag. No, because this this group of people, it's not like a small little group of people. It's like an actual like. <laughs> you talking about the people that be collecting those guns? National, like not, no, shit. no, no. This is a like a nationality, uh, like a sovereign um, state type of thing where they don't, um, they don't have to recognize the United States as their authority. So like they get all the speeding tickets and everything by claiming to be this specifically. I'm gonna look it up. Before me. I'll throw it in the comments <laughs> and shit like. that. Uh, that video then, I want information on this flag, like, I want to I wanna know, like, that, like, the deep, the deep definition, the true meaning of this flag. This flag is hard. Alright. Hopefully, this video will teach me something about this flag. Alright. Do you know the U.S. Solar Company's nasty little secret? It turns out, if you live in New York, they have to give you solar. Melvin Charles and Gleason T. Jackson designed a symbol to represent the history, pride, and accomplishments of African Americans in response to the struggles of 1960s America. Charles tells his story about the creation of the Black American heritage flag. Hold on. I think one of the interesting my um camera's about to die again, so I'm going to put a new battery in this bit. You feel me? I'll catch y'all soon. I reactive. Reactive. Alright, let's let's go. About the creation of the flag in the mind is that it was in both our minds for a long time. Even as a child at three years old, I would go and sit on the curb in Elizabeth, New Jersey, and watch the parade go by. I see the American flag, I see the flag that represents Italian, Spanish, whatever it might be, and they would march up and down the street, honoring the 30th of May. And then when it came time for the Negro, at that time we were called. I remember we, every year we would march down. And guess what? All we had was the American flag. And I went home to my mother, and I remember asking her, and I think I was, I could have been no more than five or six at that point, I said, Mommy, why don't we have a flag? But every once in a while, it would creep into my mind. Until one day, when this gentleman by the name of Gleason T. Jackson, a neighbor of mine, sat down with me and started talking about the idea of something we could do in the 60s about trying to make progress for our race of people. And then he mentioned the word of a flag. I said, if you're willing. So, now I finally found a video that explains 
and shows and talks about the story behind the flag. And so far, I love it. It's interesting and powerful. So, this man at the age of three and six always had the thought of doing something for the black folks. Something that shows us that we have that that represents us and provides us with pride every time we see it. And I honestly the flag is an amazing design. And let's continue watching this video. Willing to try. I'm willing to be there with you. I have great thoughts about it. I think it will take some time, but I want to design the flag. And that's when we started. The next process was for us to be able to get together, to sit down and talk about what we wanted to put in the flag. But after about two and a half weeks, we came up with this idea to make a flag that had diagonal stripes of red and black and to have a fig wreath circled in the center of it, and a blunted sword. And of course, we had to recognize that each item, we had to have some sort of uh, explanation. And then when we looked at the blunted sword, we thought of the feeling of having pride, and also knowing that when you have a blunted sword, when you blunt it, you learn to curdle the earth. And then we thought about the wreath, which we also had in the color gold, that would be for peace, prosperity, and everlasting life. And the red would be for the rich blood we've shed for freedom, justice, and human dignity. And the color black was for the pride in our pigmentation. The inspiration basically came from as sitting down, not only sitting down and talking about it, but I would go to the library, he would go to it. We'd both go. And we sat down and looked at all the different items. There's a thought pattern that we put into it. I mean, I, I think about, it was a piece of the musician in me. There's a piece of the businessman that was in me, and there's a piece of the child that's still in me. Then I could stand there and wave the flag. Well, the first thing we did with it was thought, our thoughts were we have to let the community know about it. And of course, Gleason and I decided one day that we would go down to City Hall to make this happen, that we would be able to unfurl the Black American Heritage Flag. Well, of course, when we laid this plan out to the mayor at that time, he was absolutely, unbelievably stunned that we would come with a thought like that. And of course, we had the thought of saying, we can make this happen. That was in our hearts. There were some I'm glad you did. But the fact of the matter is, we had come up with a final decision that the flag would be put up on March 5th at City Hall in Newark, New Jersey. Wow, what a wonderful moment to see something like this actually happen. And as we got closer to City Hall, on a flagpole standing outside, on a high flag pole, we saw the Negro flag being unfurled. 
What a wonderful moment for Gleason T. Jackson and Melvin Charles. I felt like I had won the Super Bowl. I really thought that way. I saw this happening. And I was very proud of it. And I'm proud of it every time I see it unfurl. I'm proud of it every time I speak about it. I'm proud to be here at this very moment of my life to speak to you about it. All right. That flag, that story is powerful. And um, I can't wait to get me one of the black, one of the, I can't wait to get myself the African American Heritage flag. And I'm gonna post, and I'm gonna put it on that side of the Haitian flag. You feel me? On that side of the Haitian flag. And to be honest, I already order it. It's coming in soon. It's coming on Tuesday. You feel me? So, the next time you see the video after this one is uploaded, it will be hanging up on my wall. Um, this is the end of the video. I'll catch y'all in another video. Been to your boy, Fabian TV. I'm out. Peace, deuces. Oh, and if you're new to my channel, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, look, only chase a bag, anything else gotta come to me uh, Let it come to me, uh, let it Shit, only chase a bag, anything else gotta come to me uh, Let it